What's going on people, Nitro Panda here. I finally got a camera and a microphone together so I can start posting some video content for you guys. Uh, and I think the first one that I'm going to actually post uh, is, is going to be not, a, not really a product review, but to show you some gear that I've been using. Um, uh, lately I've been posting some videos uh, of basically me getting back into to competition. I'm starting out slow with a little bit of pistol comp, uh, some steel matches, shooting some steel, uh, which is basically, you know, several different stages, fire maneuvering tactics, uh, you know, obviously quick acquisition on target, and it's all about time. And um, I've had a lot of people hit me up on, on Instagram uh, asking me, hey, what holster do you use? Or what kind of rig are you running? And I felt like I'd, I'd show it to you. So I've got a few different things here I'm going to show you. Uh, that I've actually ran and, and that I trust and that I like at a few different companies. The, the first company I'm going to talk about is a, is a dear friend of mine who actually owns this company. It's called Cabal USA and uh, he makes some pretty damn good holsters. He's been making these for a little while now and I've got a few different variants, uh, versions of what he's made so far. Uh, and it's also a key sponsor to our podcast, Covert Standard. For those of you who don't know, uh, our podcast runs and it's pretty awesome. And, um, and it's this bad boy right here, okay? Uh, this right here is a very well-made holster. It's made out of Kydex, okay? It's form-fitted for your firearm, so your firearm fits nice and snug in the inside. Uh, a couple key things about this holster that I really do like is the retention of this holster. Um, those of you uh, running gunners out there, the people that actually know what it means to have a good holster when you're running with your firearm in it, um, know that retention is a very important thing, especially for the, those of you in two-gun and three-gun matches. Um, you need to make sure you're, that your holster is reliable uh, and then it holds retention. But not just that, but those of you who actually train hard and need a good holster for that, uh, this is a really good one. Um, a couple things that I do, uh, another thing that I like about it as well uh, would be the actual belt clip system that he actually installed on the inside of this as well. Okay, so this bad boy right here can fit many, many different size belts. So if you're like me and you like to run a really thick canvas belt, um, this will fit it. You just got to adjust it. There's a bar right here that you could actually move uh, alongside to the position of uh, what size your belt is, uh, which I think is really awesome. Uh, they also, uh, when you wanna lock it up, it's got, the, it's got a, a double retention system. So basically the first one is you pop it in a place and it locks in a place, but not only that, there's a little hinge right here, a little spacer you put on there, and it actually locks it in a place. So that way, not only will your gun not fall off of your hip, but it won't fall out of the holster as well, which I think is really nice. Let me show you the retention. Let me go ahead and start off the bat. Those of you guys know, uh, when I ha handle a firearm, I'm always going over the fundamentals. It doesn't matter if you've been shooting for 30 years uh, and you're a grandmaster in shooting, you should always know that safety is, what is paramount when it comes to these things in, in boiling down to the fundamentals. So the first thing's first, you're always gonna keep your finger, your booger hook off the bang switch, if you will. Uh, you're not gonna touch that trigger, okay? Because in order for this firearm to actually go off, you actually have to pull the trigger. Uh, the next thing is I'm always gonna point this in a safe direction. I'm not gonna point it at myself or anybody else to put anybody in danger, regardless if this is empty. I am pointing it in a safe direction. Uh, the other thing is too, is that it's a really big habit of mine, and it's not a bad habit to have, um, I actually will clear my firearms about a hundred times while it's in my hand. It's just a it's just a natural thing to make sure that I'm looking in the chamber, there's no bullet into it, and it doesn't hurt at all. It's, it's really good practice. So every time I pick it up, I can put it down right now, pick it right back up, I'm gonna clear this weapon. So those of you guys in the IG world, you guys can see there's no bullet in that chamber. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the sweet thing about this. I want you guys to listen, listen closely to this. That's some serious retention there. So those of you guys who are running and gunning all up and down the range, you guys know that it's important to have a holster where your gun's actually not falling out of it, right? So it's got a positive uh, retention on there. It'll hold your gun. It's got a really good clip to make sure it stays and balances on your waist. So this is one of the holsters I run on the range and I highly recommend this uh, in case you guys want to do some holster drills or if you actually run around with your gun. Uh, this is what I would recommend. So don't forget, go to CabalUSA.co and you can take a look at a couple different holster variants he has. Um, I know that he has a bunch of uh, Glock setups. So if you have a, uh, a 19, a 23, a 17, a 34, they will all fit this holster as well. Uh, it's open on the end right here, so a longer barrel or a longer slide will actually fit into this holster um, and, uh, and it'll fit those. I think he has also the 320 holster on there and those of you guys who have the uh, SIG P365, uh, he has those as well. So if you wanna get a nice good holster for the range, there you go. Also, if you guys listen to our uh, podcast, Covert Standard, you'll know that we have a promo code with Cabal USA. Uh, so you'll only get that though if you listen to it, if you know what I mean. 
Uh, so I'll go over the next piece of gear that I actually wear. So the next piece of gear that I wear um, that you guys have seen me in a few of my videos is actually this bad boy right here. Uh, this is made by Ghost. It is a speed rig. This is made for competitive shooting. Uh, a couple key, uh, key things that I like about this. The first thing is the entire belt has Velcro on the inside. Uh, this is so you'll actually have this right here, which is the other piece of Velcro. It weaves around your belt buckles. So that way you can attach your holster to your waist and secure it properly. Uh, this is a big, big, big deal, especially for those of you who know what I'm talking about when you're actually running on the range uh, and you have all that load of ammo plus your firearm on you and you're running. Uh, this right here will make sure it stays on your waist. Uh, another good thing I like is the mag carriers that it has. Now, uh, there's two features of these mag carriers that I really like. Uh, one key feature that I like out of this is basically you can adjust the retention in these magazine carriers. Uh, so that way your magazines aren't actually falling out when you're running around. You can also make it looser if this is just something like a standstill operation where you don't have to run around and your mags aren't bouncing around. Uh, the next thing that I like about this is the fact that you can cant these magazine pouches. Uh, right now, if you actually take a look at it, I have it at a forward cant. It's towards the forward part of my body. Um, I was actually testing this to see if it would be faster for my speed reloads, uh, basically reloading my gun faster. Um, the next time I go to the range, I'm actually going to switch it to a rearward position uh, to see if that might actually change uh, because most of the training I've ever done, the magazines were all straight up and down. So I've been taking advantage of this feature. Uh, the next thing is also the drop holster that they actually have. Uh, this right here actually has zero retention. I believe you can actually adjust it to where it has more retention. But when you're doing competitive shooting, if it's just pistol, uh, you need to get it out of there fast as possible and there's no regulations on that on certain matches that you shoot. So you wanna have it where the firearm won't fall out, obviously just basically walking around, but you can actually draw your pistol as fast as possible. So this right here made by Ghost, this is actually one of my uh, speed rigs that I actually run the range. You've seen me run this uh, and, and it's a pretty solid, pretty solid build. Uh, another good thing about Ghost is, uh, as well is there's so many different speed rigs on the market. Uh, this one right here only sets you back between uh, 150 to 200 bucks, depending on what accessories you get for this, uh, which is which is pretty solid. Um, there there are speed rigs out there that you could you know go all the way up to five, six, seven hundred dollars on it. Uh, but those of you who are just getting started into it, this right here will just be fine. The next rig that I'm going to go over uh, is a company that I've been shopping with for a long time. Um, I have a lot of their holsters as well, um, and it's a really good company. I like them a lot. Uh, is going to be this one right here, okay? Uh, this is one of G-Code's battle belts or belt rigs um, that has one of the best magazine carriers on the market, if not the best magazine carrier on the market. Uh, and it's basically this set up here. Okay, so right here towards the back, I've got three pouches that will take uh, any AR mag and AK-47 mag. And then I've got my handgun pouches right here that'll take any double stack, single stack magazine. And for those of you who know what the CZ Scorpion is, you can actually put the CZ Scorpion mags in this as well. Um, I've got another drop holster right here. This holster I'm going to be replacing. Uh, no offense, G-Code, I do have a lot of your holsters, but I do not like this one. Um, unfortunately, uh, I'm going to be putting the Cabal USA holster on this rig uh, because I want the retention so when I'm doing a two-gun match, um, my pistol's not falling out when I'm running around with my rifle. So I'm going to be changing this one out for Cabal USA holster, but this rig is still very solid. Uh, this is more expensive than the Ghost rig that you just saw me have. Uh, there's a lot more going into it, but this right here is dedicated for my two or three gun matches that I run as well. So it's a pretty solid match. Uh, on the inside of this also has Velcro as well. Okay, so that same belt that I showed you earlier, you could actually put around your waist and attach it so that way it doesn't fall off your waist. So that's it. Uh, those are the few rigs that I actually run. Um, I'm going to be posting more and also getting heavier into the competitive shooting world. Uh, I've got a Glock 34 on the way that I'm hooking up, which is pretty awesome. Mod K is uh, hooking that one up too. And uh, if you guys ever want to get anything hooked up on your guns, man, Mod K is another good place to go to. And um, so that, that's it. So if you guys have any more questions for me, uh, if you want to ask about, you know, different variances that I have, different guns that I run in my competitions or different guns that I've ran, period. If you have, a, if you need opinions and everything, go ahead and hit me up in my DMs and I'm going to let you know. Don't forget to check out CabalUSA.co and Covert Standard Podcast, okay? You can search it over all media platforms. I don't care if it's iTunes, Google Play Music, Spotify, you name it, you'll see the name there and you can get that Covert Standard uh, uh, seal of approval on there for any gear that you're buying for Cobalt USA. You just got to check us out for the promo code. All right, guys. That's Nitro Panda. Hopefully this is a successful first video. Peace.